You know what we could all use uh, just about now? Actually, this weekend, as a matter of fact, how about tonight? We all could use a good laugh. That's right, guys, laughter, the best medicine for the world we're living in today. And if you uh, are a fan of stand-up comedy, you're going to want to know about the show happening tonight. If you're a fan of Last Comic Standing, you you may remember our next gentleman as the winner of the show in 2010. Felipe Esparza joins us now. Good morning, my friend. What's up, everybody? Felipe Esparza, winner of Last Comic Standing 2010. Winning, winning, you are, dude, you are coming into Las Vegas already a winner, which is great because that's what people want to do in Las Vegas. You're going to be at the Treasure Island on stage tonight. Tell us all about it. Tonight, I'm going to be at the Treasure Island Casino. Come check it out. The show starts at the right time for everybody to drive from LA or Sacramento or Utah. The show starts at 10 o'clock p.m. So that gives everybody enough time to take a shower, a disco nap, and ready to party. (laughs) Man, the disco nap. I'm actually like, I love the disco nap. Uh, I took one, I took one on Saturday because I had one event and then I had another event at night. Are you a fan of naps being a stand-up oh, comic? Man. Because, man, you do some late nights, don't you? I would have shows here in Los Angeles that would start at 1 o'clock in the morning or had the late spot at one thirty <laughs> or the 12.30 spot. So my wife and I would just take a nap around 9 p.m. and get up at 10.30 and get ready for the show. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. But some you know, people, I love like, watching you on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> some people, especially my fans, which is all... Mexican American, Hispanic, you know, people from El Salvador, about Truchas, you know, and um, people from Nicaragua, Guatemala, Chapins, you know, they work at a different time, you know, than most people. You know, like <laughs> you, the show might start at eight o'clock, but these people are getting sh- getting ready in the shower at nine o'clock, you know. So they're walking oh in late, gosh. and then we're gonna we're gonna push the show. The promoter's telling me, Felipe, can we push the show another 15 minutes? People are still in line. People are not even here yet. And then people are, so that's why the show is at 10 o'clock now. And it gives people enough time to get there, take a shower. And if you're late, we're going to close the doors on you. Oh, man, I love it. I see <sighs> your little California Starbucks mug there. I got you, man. Uh, that's, that's, that's classic. So if you're starting at 10 o'clock, then maybe you should tell people the show starts at nine and maybe they'll get there on time. Right? Yeah. But the show starts at nine, everybody. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, you mentioned all your South American fans, of course, a uh, special shout out to, uh, to the Mexican American fans, but honestly, you become kind of universally loved, um, after, you know, winning the show back in 2010. And now you're, you're, you're all over doing this podcast which I think is hilarious. You have like almost 400 episodes going. Yes, man. We started our podcast late in the game, but it was early for us. It was 2015. And we started off like, I started off with just normal people on the, on the interviews. Like I would meet people, I would meet people on the streets. And I said, you know what, man, that's an interesting story. You just told me in a bus stop. You want to do my podcast and tell that story again? And then they would do my podcast. Like I've interviewed, I've interviewed the one of the the Hollywood Boulevard. There's a guy that dresses up like the Incredible Hulk. I've interviewed him. Absolutely. And I've interviewed um, some some guy. I randomly met him at the at the hospital, and he told me that um, he just came out of prison for a murder, but um, he didn't do it. He got out on the witness protect on the. On the, on the um, innocence program. So he was innocent for 20 years. And they finally, um, they, 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 they brought up the case and he got out of prison. So I said, what's well, an interesting story? Because he had no tattoos, you know, he wasn't bitter about life. He wasn't yeah. hating like, nobody, you know, like he knew in his heart that he was innocent. So he just walked like an innocent man. I mean, this guy is not a bitter man. He's happy. He had no tattoos. I love it. I mean, he's a he's 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 survivor. Forget about climbing Mount Everest, you know, going around the world in a hot air balloon. Try going to prison for 20 years as an innocent man and still coming up 
coming down with not a hate in the world, you know? And we, I interviewed the Lipe, guy. And, I, I love your taste, man, because I have to agree with you. I've interviewed a whole ton of celebrities. And, uh, you know, sometimes the person uh, making your drink at Starbucks or, or the guy, uh, you know, that you, you hand your keys to, the valet, has the most interesting stories because real Boy. life, super fascinating, right? And I know you bring a lot of your real life to the stage. Real quick before we go, I wanted to give you a little bit of a shout out because you actually self-finance uh, your, your special recently. I know you and your wife work together and sometimes you got to kind of make things happen for yourself in the stand-up world, don't you? Yes, my wife and I, we, um, two years ago, we saved up our money and we financed our own special and we sold it to um, HBO. And we own the Dang. special, so HBO released it for two years off us. So we still own it, you know, and we're, up, we're gonna probably end up selling it to another network, you know. Or way to go. Once I figure out what an NFT is, it might be an NFT. I am telling you, I got a great <laughs> explanation about <laughs> NFTs. I'll tell you right after the interview, but right now we wanna okay. make sure people get to your show tonight. March 18th, 10 p.m., guys, at the Treasure Island Theater. I believe there may still be tickets if you, you move fast. Felipe's you move fast. com. Yeah, Felipe, yeah, really fast, okay? You can also follow right. him on Twitter and Instagram. Keep up with him on Facebook. Keep in touch with Felipe. Good to have tonight. you. Man. Hurry up, 10 o'clock.